हेलो गाइज आई एम डॉक्टर रविंद्र सावरकर एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू मेड स्कूल दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द सीरीज ऑन चेस्ट एक्सरे वी विल गो थ्रू द एबनॉर्मेलिटीज ऑफ ट्रकिया हाइला एंड फ्यू एबनॉर्मेलिटीज ऑफ लंग फील्ड्स सच एज कंसोलिडेशंस ब्रॉकोनिमोनिया कैविटी लंग एप्सेस एंड मिलियरी ट्यूबर क्लॉसिस टू कीप द लेंथ ऑफ दिस वीडियो शॉर्ट सम एबनॉर्मेलिटीज ऑफ लंग फील्ड्स लाइक पलमनरी इडिमा ए आर डी एस वायरल निमोनियाज एट्सेट्रा विल बी डिस्कस्ड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो द एबनॉर्मेलिटीज ऑफ ट्रकिया विच कैन बी डायग्नोज ऑन चेस्ट एक्सरे आर ट्रकियल नैरोइंग फॉरेन बॉडी इन ट्रकिया एंड ट्रकियल शिफ्ट फ्रॉम मिड लाइन पोजिशन ट्रकियल ल्यूमेन बिकम्स नैरो इन स्टिनोसिस इट अपियर्स एज एब्रप्ट चेंज इन साइज ऑफ ट्रकियल शैडो patient present with breathing difficulty along with strider causes of tracheal stenosis are external trauma radiation therapy external compression post endotracheal intubation inhalational burns and tracheal infections foreign body in trachea presents as radio opaque shadow but on pa view or ap view it is difficult to judge whether it is present in trachea or esophagus this can be confirmed with lateral view chest x ray if foreign body is present in mid line below carina it is more likely to be present in esophagus whereas foreign body present in position lateral to mid line is more likely to be in airways clinical presentation also differs in both the cases foreign body in esophagus present as dysphagia and chest pain while foreign body in trachea present as dyspnea chest pain and strider this foreign body looks like it is present inside trachea but foreign body of this size is very unlikely to cross larynx its position can be confirmed with lateral view chest x ray or ct thorax the next abnormality of trachea is shift or deviation to one side on the first glance it looks like trachea is obviously shifted to left but wait first let's see whether this shift is due to any technical abnormality in this x ray technical abnormality which can produce apparent shift of trachea is rotation in this x ray spinous process is not in midline but nearer to medial end of right clavicle moreover excessive elevation of right dome of diaphragm and hyperlucency in right lung field also suggest rotation to right because of rotation of patient to right trachea appears to be shifted to left whereas in this x ray spinous processes are in midline that means x ray is not rotated in this x ray leftward shift of the trachea is actual and not due to rotation one can also notice that right hyla and right heart border are not visible it indicates the whole mediastinum is shifted to the left while in this x ray trachea along with mediastinum is shifted to right but tracheal shift is not a disease in itself but a sign of underlying disorder trachea is shifted to same side in cases of lung collapse and lung fibrosis while it is shifted to opposite side in cases of pleural effusion and pneumothorax in this x ray both the hyla are very prominent one can appreciate this if these hyla are compared with the normal hyla in this x ray causes of hyalur prominence are hyalur lymphadenopathy perihyalur pneumonia and pulmonary vessel enlargement in this x-ray only right hilum is prominent many times it is difficult to know the exact etiology of hilar prominence from the x-ray alone in such cases clinical correlation and ct thorax are very useful let's understand the importance of clinical correlation from this x-ray right hilum is prominent in this x-ray but it's very difficult to know the exact cause but if i tell you patient is paraplegic with recently diagnosed deep venous thrombosis and he has sudden onset of hypoxia hypotension and tachycardia 
then he is most likely a case of pulmonary embolism and this prominence is nothing but dilated pulmonary artery let's start abnormalities of lung fields consolidation is very common abnormality found on chest x ray in consolidation alveolar air spaces are filled with liquid semi solid or solid material so radio lucency of normal lung field changes to radio opacity this chest x ray is showing consolidation in bilateral middle zone the most common cause of consolidation is infection which can be viral bacterial tubercular or fungal next common cause is tumor which can be benign or malignant less common causes are pulmonary hemorrhage and alveolar proteinosis etc you must be thinking how to differentiate the consolidation of infection and tumor in infective consolidation there is maximum radio opacity at the center and it gradually decreases toward periphery as in this case so borders of consolidation due to infection are not sharp but look at this consolidation it has very sharp borders tumors cast an image with sharp borders tumors can be benign or malignant if borders of the ribs are eroded by the tumor then it is more likely to be malignant this chest x ray belongs to the known case of clm even if this consolidation is not densely radio opaque its border is very sharp but if we come to this x ray again the lower border of this lesion appear very sharp if i say that this is definitely a case of pneumonia then why this border is looking so sharp if you know the answer please write it down in comment section over the period of time content inside the consolidation undergoes necrosis and liquefaction so consolidation turns into a cavity and this cavity will have air fluid level in the form of horizontal line above which translucency of air can be seen this is also called as lung abscess it usually occurs in cases of acute bacterial pneumonia if the content of cavity is expectorated out consolidation turns into an air filled cavity so cavity is defined as an air filled space within an existing lesion causes of cavity are chronic infection like tubercular and fungal pneumonias malignancies and autoimmune disorder like wegener's granulomatosis sometimes pneumonia occurs as multiple small consolidations involving both lungs and in multiple segments this pattern is called as bronchopneumonia so bronchopneumonia on chest x ray can be seen as bilateral patchy segmental opacities over the time this consolidations can coalesce to form large consolidations multiple metastases can look like bronchopneumonia differentiating features are sharp margins in metastatic lesions and absence of fever sometimes consolidations are so small in size that their size can be compared with the size of a millet such bilateral micronodular involvement is usually seen in miliary tuberculosis and such pattern of tuberculosis is usually seen in patient who are immunocompromised abnormalities covered in next video will be pulmonary edema ards viral pneumonias pleural effusion pneumothorax lung collapse and lung fibrosis thank you for watching this video till the end if you have any query or suggestion please write it down in comment section if you like my work please like this video and share it with your friends to get notified about next video upload please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon till next video take care and keep learning